We will now start the regular press conference by Foreign Minister Motegi. Over to you, Minister. There are no initial remarks by my side. Please ask your questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. And after you're designated, please step up to the microphone near you to st and state your name and affiliation. Yes, please. Aibara from Asahi Shimbun. According to some reports, President Biden and Xi Jinping of China are to have a, a talk online. There are no formal announcements yet, but uh, recently there was that meeting between National Security uh, Advisor Mr. Sullivan and Yan Jiechi, Politburo members. So about these developments, do you have any comments? Two days ago in Zurich, there was that uh, meeting between Mr. Sullivan and Mr. Yan Jiechi. And by the end of this year, they have agreed that there is going to be a leaders' meeting between the U.S. and China online. We understand that that is the agreement that was reached. Now, stability of the relations between the two countries is extremely important for the international community. And yesterday, I also spoke on the phone with uh, Secretary Blinken. He gave me a call because that was my birthday yesterday and congratulate me for the reappointment as foreign minister. And we had a conversation about the China-US relations, and we agreed that there's going to be this close coordination between Japan and the United States. We would like to continue based on this strong trust relationship with our ally, the United States. We will coordinate and we would also uh, make approaches to China so that they will perform their duties as a major country. Thank you. Next questions, please. News and Army Japan. Uh, the United States uh, the State Department on Tuesday uh, disclosed the number of nuclear weapons in the U.S. Uh, stockpile. And it said this will uh, help global efforts to control the spread of such weapons. I'm wondering if you have any comment on this and if uh, you, Japan uh, would like the other uh, nuclear states, such as China, Russia, UK, France, Israel, and uh, Pakistan and India to do the same <coughs> step. And this might be a good chance for uh, Prime Minister Kishida, who is uh, who pledged <coughs> to lead the uh, this kind of movement. Thank you. Well, about the nuclear arsenal to enhance transparency in advancing international efforts towards world without nuclear weapons, it will serve as an important platform, in my opinion. Regarding the United States, this time nuclear warhead has been disclosed, and for to enhance transparency, they have been making efforts which I welcome, including nuclear states for other countries. I would like to urge other countries to take the similar measures. Any other questions? If not, we will be bringing this conference to a close now. Thank you very much for your attendance.